Hi, my name is Neil Polijwala and I'm one of the retina doctors here at Retinal Consultants of Arizona. Welcome to the Retina Research Institute. Here in Phoenix, we are lucky that we have actually the, one of the largest freestanding retina research facilities in the entire country. And in this, in, at the Retina Research Institute, we do studies in all aspects of retina, including macular degeneration, diabetes, retinal vein occlusion, and uveitis. I'd like to address some of the frequently asked questions that patients often uh, want to know about clinical research. So the first question is, what is a clinical trial? A clinical trial is usually a large multi-centered study where, uh, that are often sponsored by uh, drug companies who are looking to see if their medication that they have developed is uh, comparable, better, or insufficient compared to the standard of care. Typically, the clinical trials that we uh, recruit are ones where drugs have been tested before in smaller groups and they have been deemed to be safe and effective in small populations. And for our clinical trials, we're looking to see if in large populations, the results are generalizable. So we want to make sure that the drug works similarly in all of our patients. Next question is, am I going to be treated as a guinea pig? Absolutely not. That's actually one of the most um, common fears of patients who are about to embark in clinical studies. Uh, you know, the misconception of research is that this is something very new, we don't know what the results are going to be, it could potentially harm you or cause blindness, and that's just not the case with uh, our clinical research trials. The trials that we recruit are ones that are where drugs have been tested before and they have been deemed to be uh, effective and safe in populations and only then do they get into um, the later phases which we study. Next question is who can participate in clinical trials? And the answer to that question is uh, pretty much anybody. We were actively recruiting all um, all different types of people for our studies. Now each study does have its particular um, requirements such as a study in diabetic retinopathy would require a patient to have at least controlled diabetes, um, no significant other medical problems such as severe kidney disease or um, recent strokes or heart attacks. We want to make sure our patients are well enough for clinical studies, um, but otherwise we are recruiting, we are actively recruiting patients in uh, with all different disease types for clinical studies. The next question is, how does a clinical trial work? A clinical trial, the way we recruit patients are this, you know, you would come and see me in the office and I would take a look at your eyes and, you know, diagnose you with the condition that, uh, that I think you have. Based on what your condition is, what treatments you've had in the past, what other medical problems you have, if I believe that you would be a great candidate for a clinical trial, I'll present you the option in the office. If this is something that you would be interested in, then I will forward your information to our clinical research coordinator. Our coordinator will then call you, will give you a call within a day or two uh, to give you more um, information about the clinical study. If at that time the study sounds like something that you would be interested in, we'll invite you back to our office to meet with the research team. They'll do uh, a series of different tests, um, in, including um, uh, routine imaging tests that we do in the office, uh, and send that information to the uh, study um, to the study coordinators uh, and the drug companies. And based on what they what they see, uh, they'll decide if you are a good candidate or not. Um, if they deem you to be a good candidate and you want to participate, you'll be going to go what's called a randomization process in which uh, you will be placed in one of two groups. The first group would be the, tre the, the study group, meaning you'd be receiving the new medication that uh, the clinical trial is trying to evaluate. Uh, the other group is called the control group, and the control group is receiving the current standard of care treatment. So in both groups you get, um, you get treatment. No one goes without any treatment. Next question is what's the difference between a placebo and the standard of care? Uh, a placebo is something that's commonly talked about when we uh, talk about clinical research. And a placebo is actually not giving someone anything, meaning uh, giving them a clinically 
ineffective compounds. So whether that be in some studies, they, uh, patients get uh, saline instead of medicine or something like that, uh, where it's not gonna cause them any harm, but it's not gonna have any effect on them. The standard of care is what's currently accepted as the treatment for that particular condition. So for instance, for macular degeneration studies, we compare the new treatments to the current medications that we are able to give to patients that are FDA approved uh, in our office. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope I've clarified some misconceptions and some common concerns people have about r clinical research. Here at, r r here at Retina Research Institute, we uh, abide by the utmost standard of care and we really uh, value your time. If you have any questions about clinical research or want to learn more or see if you part would qualify for a particular study, please feel free to contact us at any time. Thank you very much.